James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 25th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had an X-class solar flare that's basically Earth-facing pop off from our solar disk. That is correct. It looks like it was generated from Sunspot Group 4098. It was just an X1.12 solar flare, barely making the X-class category just after 1.30 UTC time or about 8.30 Central Time here in the U.S. Now we're back up to a C baseline after we lost it after 6 to 12 months of having a C baseline. We might lose it again here. We've got well, several sunspots, but none of them are even beta gamma. This was a simple sunspot. Simple. that actually ripped off this X-class solar flare. It looks like it did create a chromos ejection. That will be inbound. To me, it looks like it would be a glancing blow at best, although that flare looked like it headed right towards Earth. What we're dealing with here, guys, is a fairly strong flare, but we have no shields left whatsoever. So very small flares, even M-class solar flares, can cause havoc with Earth's electrical grid and beat down our atmosphere even more so. So this is inbound. We'll take a look at some more information on it. So here we have the X-Flare. As y'all can see, it does look like it would have an Earth component associated with it, but I just did not see the X-rays uh, and the Absorption Prediction Center didn't light up, i.e. radio alternation like I thought it would. If it would have really been inbound. Definitely not on the limb. Definitely going to have an earth component to this flare. Again, an X1.12 solar flare out of sunspot AR4098. A simple, either an alpha or a beta sunspot, which is crazy. Taking a look at our very busy star today. We're currently hanging on to that C baseline, just barely a 5% chance of an X flare. That's what took us all by surprise. You can see all the sunspots are simple, either alpha or beta. There's no beta gamma. There's no delta sunspots. To see this happen in X1.12, well, let's just hope that the uh, sun doesn't wake up as it looks like it's about to. You can see a lot of the activity came from 4098, and that was the sunspot we were watching, but it's still a simple sunspot with an M2.2 being something we almost covered. Heading over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstroms, that coral hole just never did a thing to us and just disappeared. Wow. That's the sunspot group 4098. That the X flare came from. You're not seeing the X flare, you're seeing an aftershock or after flare. We have several other smaller coronal holes and lots of sunspots, both earth facing and both coming around the limb. Looks like our sun is waking back up. I wonder what it is. I took a look at the planets and it makes little to no sense. And thus, this has to do with something outside our solar system, which it very well might. All right, taking a look at our star. Looks like we have eight sunspots Earth-facing, several more that need to be named coming around. You can actually see the complexity. Uh, 4098, it's a simple alpha or beta sunspot in green there, pumping off X flares. Unbelievable. Headed over to NOAA's absorption prediction. And we're looking at x-rays hitting the planet. This popped off mainly around Japan, uh, China, Russia, 
it's a big one, Australia, all through Indonesia, etc. So I can see, and this is not as intense as I would have thought that an expert would be. You can see the radio alternation barely covers three or four hertz. Not real intimidating. That's what makes me think that this went another way. Another way indeed. And there you have it, folks. A big X flare from a simple sunspot, 4098. Expect another one. Looks like it's trying to break below that C baseline again. Crazy, crazy ongoing situation. I will keep you updated as things develop. God bless. Please share our videos. Please subscribe and always remember anything's possible in Bizarro World.